De La Wright, my envious. Welcome. Oni Ovife is rumored to have made no single attempt, like single attempt to help Olori Ikbi as she developed some, you know, and skin itchy, itching condition. They said that um, she was all right until she stepped into the palace after she had a very serious altercation with the Oni Ovife, as it is rumored, as it is alleged that she had a very heated argument with the Oni Ovife over not coming and going out of the palace. And Oni Ovife told her not to be coming, that they have to find a way to make it neat such that they come. Oni Ovife has made it very clear, like I have heard, and you know, the rumor keeps making the rounds on social media that Oni has told them, look, I love you guys. You are beautiful. You are all good. You bring different values to the table and you bring different colors to the table that uh, um, I'm not going to do anything that will undermine you know, your value, like, you know, as a woman, okay? I am king. I know exactly what I need to do for my wives, okay? But what this is, is that for us to enjoy our peace of mind and everything tranquility, we are going to stay this way. These people will stay this way so that everybody can have peace. And they say from when this thing started, it wasn't even because of Olori Naomi, but eventually it got to a point where it was all pointed towards Olori Naomi when she made that statement that, you know, um, if they don't vacate the palace, she would never return to the palace. But because Oni Ovife is very desperate to bring her back, Oni Ovife had to push and push so that, of course, the palace would be vacant for her. So right now, it's been back and forth movement for the women to vacate the palace so Queen Naomi can return back. So with all of this, I say it's been a very serious buzz boost, left, right, and center for Queen Naomi to return back into the palace. So only recently, um, the Uloris had moved and, you know, they kept coming and going, coming and going. So they said, only of if I said to Olori Ikpi, that, look, you cannot keep going and coming like this. We need to make it there. And Ikpi said, nobody can stop her from um, being a part of her matrimonial home. After all, she was um, married and traditionally, legally, like otherwise, she, she is a married woman and nobody, except she wants to, nobody can stop her. And so she now left. So we heard that when she came in again, she was doing very, very okay, as it is alleged. But immediately she started stepped into the palace, she started having some kind of um, a skin itching condition. And the thing started, you know, escalating, like such that she was screaming and shouting and, you know, being in a hurry to pick the things she wanted to pick. It was almost as if she needed to leave that place just now, needed to leave. And they said that was how she kept screaming, what's going on? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Until, boom, they put her inside the car and she left. And they said that happened around 10 a.m. in the morning. So when she left, she felt better outside because what brought her to the palace, she did not finish it. So at that point, she had no, um, she had never thought that maybe perhaps it was because she stepped into the palace. It was very strange. Of course, you will not think that way uh, if you were the one. So, and when she felt better outside where she was, they said she now asked the driver to bring her back into the palace so she can do what she wanted to do and also to see, to see the only of the fair. And now at the security post, they have told them, of course, you do know that nobody, no security has the right to stop them from coming in except and only leaves an instruction. But if there is no instruction, do not forget these are Oga wives. They cannot even try. You can't even speak for him. You cannot even do anything. And as we are hearing, she now decided to come back to pick what she had initially wanted to pick. They said she dro they drove through the security post and got um, to, you know, um, um, her carport, the broken carport, and she parked behind the carport. And immediately she al alerted the vehicle to come into. They said the thing started again. It was itching her all over like she was screaming she was crying what is this and she ran because some people were, were coming out so because she didn't want to attract um any you know um attention to herself she said they said she practically ran into her own apartment upstairs where she went upstairs and they said she was screaming she was uncomfortable and she was screaming the entire time why so what happened was that her pa 
They say ran to her, asked her what was happening, and the driver was worried, and they were they had to practically hold her back into the car, and they drove out of the palace. So when they drove out of the palace, they say immediately they got out of the palace gate, she was okay. The itching stopped immediately. And that was when, you know, she was not even suspecting anything at the time, but when this got to her people, they found out that this is something that is not normal, is 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 something Something that you know um, need attention is something that you know was being done to her and all of that. And they said she cried and cried and cried and cried. You know, I said something the other day. I said any uh, child who says that they want to grow big too, you must develop big leaves, leaves that are big enough to cover the two. This is what this is about. Because for a man like ABC, I don't see who you are today, the man. The man, the fact that the man is very lenient and the man is very understanding, the man would never want to do anything that would hurt anybody or hurt his wife or anything. Does not mean people stand in his face and tell him, I will not do it, I will not do it. First of all, we it's important for people to understand that KBSC married them, they did not marry KBSC. Now, it's all of this information we are hearing is the truth. This is what has been going on, and they say that there is this itchy condition that is just plaguing her, that she cannot rest, she can't see anything. And it's not as if anything is coming out of her skin. Her skin is fine. Okay, okay? It's not like some kind of scabies, like people are saying. No, it is not. They said that the thing will just be biting her. Pim, 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 pim. You know that kind of bite that when you take a bath with some kind of damp towel that's not been properly, you know, sanitized, how you feel. They said that it was the intensity of this bite on her body that could not let her see. Like, it was so bad. And so, they said that this thing eh, has become so bad. The thing, it... Outside, it is okay, but when she's coming inside the palace, that is when this thing develops. The whole of her body will be itching her and itching her and itching her, and she'll be crying the entire time. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Dela Ram. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the sauce. It's still on the royals. How are you guys doing? I appreciate you guys so much. I love you. Thank you. Asheo Adubel, my people. May God bless you. May God bring you good tidings. May God send people to support you the same way you have supported me. I appreciate each and every one of you from the depth of my heart and most importantly members of this channel you guys mean a lot kudos to you i love you guys thank you so much thank you people i appreciate you guys so much you're yet to subscribe kindly go ahead hit that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up my own very daily rights i love you guys so much so um do not forget that these are all alleged information they are rumored information they are reported information they are no be me talk calmly information <laughs> okay so right now the we had that the family of auntie be like everybody's wondering why oni is not saying anything if your wife is to enter the palace and somebody is doing something to drive her out of the palace because this does not happen to her when she is outside it happens to her only when she is inside the palace so apparently something is wrong and if this is the case how come you are not saying anything you're just sitting down there as if it's not your business and he said everybody's wondering she has he has not said anything if you have not seen the woman for days now because the woman cannot come when the woman comes in nobody stops her like they don't stop her from the gate nobody i think kbsc said nobody should stop anybody and and you just come in and immediately she gets down from the car. This drama starts. They say she'll be dancing, Makosa, dancing, every bad dance, dancing everywhere as the thing. So, and so this takes me back to what a woman said during our life, that Oni is not prepared for these women, that any day Oni is ready for these women, that they will carry their legs and run away. So right now you do know that from what we are hearing, KBSC is doing everything to avoid any um, scandal. So everything is just working the way it's supposed to work. No scandal, nothing, but everybody's struggling with something. Right now is, you know, KBS is just chilling, you know. They said the man has not said a word. As this thing is plaguing until it be left, right and center. And everybody's wondering why KBS is so uh, quiet. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Ciao.